Hey there, Aries. Welcome to my channel. My name is Linda, and I would like to thank you for tuning in to those energies and influences that are coming through for your monthly reading for Money and Finances and Career, August 2019. Aries, this is a condensed predictive general reading. Please only take those portions that resonate with you. And remember, check out that description box below. Thanks, you guys. And after the reading is a take note moment. Okay, Aries. Off camera, I've done a protective blessing. I've shuffled and meditated over these cards just for you. Your first card. It's the general atmosphere. The background and the basis of the matter. Aries, you've got the five of pentacles. This is earth energy. Has to do with your money, your finances. This is feeling a lack of security. Sharing a hardship. Could be an illness or a temporary uh, um, injury. You're having some doubts. Could be unemployment or a financial loss. You'll need to ask for help because assistance and support is available. You're not alone. And these hardships, they will pass away. It's just a temporary being crippled by these circumstances. You might be complaining, so you need to rebuild your self-worth. Feeling unstable and you could be having some scarcity thinking alienation, but your friends are supportive. You're being anxious about being able to support yourself and others and feeling ashamed about it. Fearful of asking and having to rely on the support of others. Could be ill health or that injury. It's preventing you from bringing in the money you need. But you're not alone. In times of doubt, the lesson is you need to reach out to others. These connections are what make our life special and allow us to persevere through the hard times. Be grateful for those who have our back and reach out to others. This is a strain or anxiety over money. So pay attention to detail. Financial, emotional, and spiritual or something may be lost. Might be a loss of confidence in your ability. This is sharing needs and abilities that relieves hardship. Helping others and others helping you as a complementary pair. United we stand. The worst of our hardships overcome together. And with every crisis, look for the opportunity and come to terms with lack. Sometimes it's time to throw in the towel. Second card. And this is the energy that's crossing over your path. The Seven of Wands, Aries. This is fire energy. Fire is your element. This card is victory through courage. This is success against opposition. It's reaching a new level. And you have the position of advantage. And there's going to be certain success. This is competition in business or trade. It's the completion of a phase. It's deep purpose and valor, facing tests, victory, and commencement. People give you more jobs to do and you handle them. This is beating down all those problems. Encourage in difficult situations. It's also the excitement of conflict. This is defending what matters. And you will stand your ground and fight for what you believe in. And you're ready to face challenges. And your determination will overcome obstacles. Now the shoe is on the other foot. So you take a stand. And now your third card. It's the position of the future. I mean, not. It's your attitude. And it's how it affects you. The Six of Swords, Aries. This is air energy, always representing the thoughts in your mind. This is leaving your troubles behind. It's recovery and mental healing. It's transition. And now there's going to be smooth sailing. It's the calm after the storm. This can be a move or a journey. And this change will go smoothly. And there's relief at what you left behind could be going on a short trip somewhere, even a spiritual journey. But the storm is broken and now calm sets in. So be open for how things develop and have patience. This is moving away from difficulties towards more peaceful times. A move to a more pleasing environment. A release of tension and anxiety after a period of strain or confusion or something destructive. So let go of what is holding you back. This is a mental shift. This is being pensive or melancholy, 
cautiously hopeful, coping and riding out rough times and getting by despite troubles. And now your fourth card. It's the position of the future. This is the outcome, the results, and the advice. The Five of Cups, Aries. Water energy represents the emotions and the feelings. This is your second five in, a re in this reading, and it represents vigils. You're watching out for something. This card represents brooding, regret, and transition again. Now, this is uh, two fives equal a ten. Tens represents endings and new beginnings. This is dwelling on a painful past, and it's those two cups that represent what is really important. This is a card of choice. You can continue to brood over what went wrong, or you can think about how it can be better in the future. This could be the loss of a cherished dream or a love possession. But with this loss comes change and opportunity. Fives are about adjustments to change. This is something that's past. It has flowed on, but something new is waiting for you. Turn around and address new spiritual possibilities and truths, and have faith in the future. Turn to the new. And now your fifth card. It's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue. This is what's unseen. The Queen of Swords, Aries. This is an air energy person. Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Sun, moon, or ascendants. And this is when that birth chart calculator comes in handy. You can find out if air is in your chart, or this is someone else then. This is an independent, mature person with authority. This can be a male or a female. This is someone that provides solutions with truth and honesty, and they teach us to accept life as it is. They're a great teacher and communicator. They're professional. They have great clarity of thought. This is someone that treasures solitude, and they're able to overcome loneliness by doing independent projects. They have a very sharp, keen mind, and they're able to see justice and fairness. This is someone that's known loss or sorrow, and this experience has enhanced their wisdom, and they love to share their knowledge. They can be cutting with their words, because they think that if it's the truth, it must be okay to say but it's, so kind. It's, a, it's okay to be kind when you tell the truth. So look for forthright, clear characteristics and be clear in your decisions and your behavior and make sure your point of view is thought through and with sharp wit and self-possession, stand by it. This is discernment and clear boundaries, being direct and insightful, high-minded, cutting out the BS and telling it like it is. This person faces the future. And now your advice from the Oracle deck. Trust your vibes. A powerful toolkit for awakening your sixth sense. By Sonia Choquette. And Aries, you've got let go. It's very synchronistic with this reading. Let go, number 27. Sometimes the most powerful psychic solution to a difficult or compromising situation is to simply walk away. This is one of those times when the situation calls for letting go, backing off and surrendering your ego and leaving. You're in a deadlock of fixed vibrations and feelings that are too great for any positive solution through further, further and great engagement. In walking away, you protect both yourself and all those involved from even more frustration and allow the universe to work behind the scenes to restore harmony to all concerned. Move on. Have faith. No one is working against you. It's as though you're pushing on the door to get to the other side. When it opens inwards, step back and give things room to move back to center. They will. Aries, here's your take-note moment. We should all know the difference between feeling gratitude and appreciation versus feeling an attachment to something. Appreciation and gratitude are states of pure love, while attachment contains fear, fear of losing or not having what you are attached to. If you are feeling afraid that you will not get what you want or losing what you have, this is attachment. To remove attachment, continue to shift yourself into a state of appreciation and gratitude until you feel the fear is gone. Thanks, Aries. More next time, so I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up. 
and please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.